Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another wedding dress reveal in my new studio. Welcome! It's one of the first videos I'm filming in this space and I'm absolutely loving it. So bear with me if I need to um, tweak the light or anything like that. It will change over a few videos but hopefully I'll get it right. Let's get right into the video. Today I have been waiting for this dress for a little bit over four months. Now I received it about four months ago but I had to put the dress on hold because of the whole COVID-19 situation. Um, the bride decided to not have her fitting right away and is having it now in a couple of weeks. So I decided now is the best time for us to do a reveal, open up the pack, see what we've got and see what her dress is like. Okay, now guys, it's quite a big one today. It is huge. So, and it is quite heavy because I know that it is full of beads as well. So, just going to crack it open. All right, first thing is I've got two packs. One is the veil that I can see here. Beautiful. It looks very, very long. And then the other one is the dress in ivory. Ooh, check out this fabric. I don't know if you can see it. It is covered in beads absolutely covered <gasps> okay i'm going to oh it has been so long ago since i designed this dress i can't even remember what it looks like oh wow okay i've used the twill satin here which is like a stiff satin that has a bit of texture ah oh, this is beautiful i need to get this on the hanger guys because you can't quite see it but down the bottom here, got the twill satin, which is such a beautiful fabric. I've started using it a few years ago, but I don't do it on a lot of gowns. And I think that's just because usually it's a special request. So people would request that they want that fabric or else they would just go with a normal satin. Wow, she's gonna be so happy. So I don't know if you can see that guys, stunning. So we've got the corset bodice inside the dress in a sweetheart. Then we've got this beautiful heavy beaded lace that runs right down the arm. Gorgeous. And then we've got the back, which is super beautiful. And there's pearl buttons right up the back. So let's hang this up. Basically, what this dress is like is it's obviously got an illusion neckline made of mesh. So this is ivory tool along the bodice here. Then we've got this gorgeous beaded lace that's made of um, sort of leaves in a leaf pattern all over the dress. Really great if you're the type of bride that isn't a girly bride that li doesn't like a lot of flowers and floral design. This kind of design is perfect. Um, there is the corset bodice underneath, which I will show you. And I've also put some um, beading down the bottom and bled it into the skirt as well. The skirt has pockets. It's a nice full A-line. Okay, so what that means is it comes straight flat on the hips. So it skims the hips, it doesn't puff out. And then it goes full down the bottom. So just bear with me and I'll steam it and we can have a look at this skirt properly. Okay guys, wow, that was an effort. There was so much fabric so it took me quite a fair while to steam it all. But now it's looking beautiful and you can get an idea of sort of what the skirt looks like. So moving down into the skirt, we've done box pleats all the way around and box pleats are perfect for this fabric. So the twill satin really has a lot of structure so it's quite stiff and it's great for full skirts because it's going to sit and fall in the, in the right way. Um, and adding these box, pleat, box pleats is going to flatten out this top part, but it's going to add volume, okay? And that little bit of extra drama in the skirt that the client wanted. On the sides, we've got the invisible pockets as well, which are great. And we've got a lot of beautiful fabric down the bottom as well as a petticoat. 
So on gowns that are full like this, we always do a built-in petticoat. This one has two layers, but the second layer has multiple layers in the one. And we do this to add volume to the bottom of the skirt without putting in a hoop skirt because a hoop skirt is quite stiff and it doesn't give you the flow and the movement that a lot of brides are wanting. So we make sure that we built in a petticoat instead. Across the back, very similar to the front, we haven't done um, a box pleat in the center here because obviously it would uh, disturb the beautiful line of the pearls. I haven't pinned them, um, hooked them up all the way. So, you know, there are gaps in here. So that's why it's looking a little bit wonky there. Um, but I do that so I can get in and out of it quite quickly. We've got the box pleats again, but we've only done two. And then we haven't done any on the sides to keep that silhouette nice and slim on the sides, on her hips. And this is anyone that carries any weight on their hips. This is a really great trick to not have any um, gathering or any pleating or any sort of bulk on the hips. And then that would really slim the silhouette down. This lace is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so in love with it. We've basically done it throughout and we've done it across the cuffs as well. So these are gonna bleed into the hands and we've closed it up with pearl buttons with loops and we do this so that we get a nice close fit on the arm. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of a train on this as well, not a huge train, but about a half centimetre train. Um, and that's going to give the client that little bit of length that she's after. We will have to do a bustle for her as well, which we will do at the fitting. Okay, let's have a look inside the dress. So we've got the invisible zipper and the buttons in the sheer part of the dress. We've got the lace bleeding up, okay, into the back. So it's gonna give her a really nice balance and her back isn't gonna to be too bare, but it's gonna have something on it. And then you've got this component down the bottom, which is the satin component. And we've done a full structured corset bra in here. And that includes the padding, the boning all the way through, and then the strap, the bra strap. Now I can already see that they've clipped this wrong, so I'm gonna to have to fix it. All right, and that's gonna give her that security because with a fabric like this and with a gown that's so full, you've gotta be really careful because it's gonna weigh quite a bit because it's satin. So because of that, we like to make sure it's nice and secure on the bust, and that's what's really gonna hold the dress up. You don't want the dress to be held up by a little bit of mesh on either side of the shoulders. So um, it's important that there's a really good structure in the bust. Looking at this box pleat, I think I'm actually going to iron out the bottom parts of the box pleat, like these ones, just so that they fall a little bit nicer and they're not so jagged. So I'll do that before her fitting. If you haven't seen this lace close up, guys, I'll give you another look. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am so in love with it. It's so different, um, but yet it's got that beautiful sparkle and intensity and something glamorous within the dress. There's also sequins as well. Absolutely stunning. I can see here that the arms are quite big, so we will be tapering them to the client and they also look a little bit long from, I can sort of see the dimensions there, but that'll all happen in the fitting. Okay guys, what did you think of that dress? Do you love it as much as I do? What do you think of that satin? It's a new twill satin that we're using for our gowns this year on a special request, obviously. It does have a little bit of texture, but it's got beautiful structure for that nice, big, voluminous style um, ball gown. Please give me a like if you haven't already and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Please stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.